What's up everybody? Nick and Samuel here. We are at the Pine Mountain Scenic Trail in Whitesburg, Kentucky. We are at the Little Shepherd Trailhead on a beautiful clear February night. We're going to see if we can't find us some Sasquatch. That's going join, <laughs> join along. Okay folks, I think we're getting close to something. We're starting to smell this really funky odor and uh, I think we're getting close to maybe spotting a Sasquatch. So uh, stick with us. We might find something. Look at it. I think we found a Sasquatch. I think we found a Sasquatch. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Stay with us. He might eat us. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's not a Sasquatch. That's Jason Wish. Are you filming? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's good to see you guys. Yeah. I was about ready to give up on you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Trail bros. On a beautiful and unusually warm February weekend, I returned to the Pine Mountain Trail. This time I'm joined with my trail brother Samuel and our good friend Jason. Our goal was to hike the 40 plus mile trail in three days and two nights. I felt very optimistic about our trip, but would soon find out not all trips are successful. We started our day at the Flamingo Shelter and planned to hike roughly 15 miles to the Jack Sauter Homestead to camp for the night. We would be treated to beautiful arches, snow covered valleys, beautiful creeks, and majestic mountaintop views. The Pine Mountain Trail stretches over 40 miles along the Cumberland Mountain Range between Whitesburg and Elkhorn City, Kentucky. Future plans are to extend it over 100 miles from the Brakes Interstate Park in Virginia to the Cumberland Gap National Historic Park. It is also a key link in connecting a future long distance trail called the Great Eastern Trail, a long distance trail similar to the Appalachian Trail. Eagle Arch can be found just alongside the trail. From up above, it's difficult to grasp how big it really is. But as soon as you take the sketchy ride down the hill, you're greeted with an absolutely beautiful sight. We had a wonderful time hanging out and just enjoying our time at the Arch, but soon realized that we had a long day ahead of us and we needed to get back on trail. Here's the Eagle Arch from below. It's a lot bigger than it appears. We uh, slip and slide all the way down the hill, made some questionable hiking decisions. <laughs> oh, but this thing is cool. Check out all the destruction from the ice storms recently. Man, yes, that is the trail. <laughs> Lemon squeezer, huh? More like fat man's misery. <laughs> this giant rock inside the creek reminds me a lot of uh, Large Marge at Red River Gorge. One of my favorite trips with the kids. <laughs> oh man, these evergreen trees are ginormous. My first trip along Pine Mountain was in the fall of 2018. It was my first long distance trip spanning over five days and the longest distance I'd ever done at the time. It was a cold and rainy week and even though I knew I could do it in less time, the mountains were calling me. They were urging me to slow down and enjoy the peace and serenity of the wilderness. It was my toughest hike to date, battling thunderstorms, dense fog, and isolation. But ever since, the PMT has held a special place in my heart. All right, it's been a tough climb up the mountain all morning, but uh, we're finally making it to High Rock. 
and this is one of the views that I've been waiting for all day. So check this out. Wow, views all the way around. Wow, this is like a 360 view. Woo! Yeah. I'm afraid if I get in front of it. Woo! Dang it. Man, that is beautiful. We got uh, one more awesome view here in a second. Absolutely beautiful and definitely worth the hike. <laughs> oh, I believe this is Mars Rock. You gotta check this out. Mars Rock? Is that what you said? All right, so a few minutes ago, we were standing right up there. And we were just up there. Man, this is one epic view and one wild rock face. Jeez. Having lunch on top of Mars Rock. It is in the upper 60s today. Very oddly warm for uh, February. But uh, sitting under a shade tree right now and just enjoying the time with my buddies. And... Uh, rest because we got like nine more miles to camp and it's a tough hike <laughs> Whew. i got a new friend for lunch That's the Virginia mountains over there. It's kind of sad to see all the logging and rock uh, quarries going on there. Cutting the mountains to get limestone. Very sad to see. My first trip to uh, the Pine Mountain Trail. This was my first campsite. <clears throat> it's uh. A wonderful little cliffside vista. Let's check it out. My uh, tent was there, and then all night I had this glorious view. Our next rock to uh, get across. This one is lovingly called Slip and Slide Rock. Last time I was here, it just rained, and I was almost crawling across this thing, making sure that I didn't uh, fall down there. But look at that view. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure my father would not approve of an antenna tower section being used as a ladder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did quite a bit of that climbing as a kid. But uh, I believe this is called Lost John Gap. You see a little forest road down there. But uh, not going that way today. May King Knob, the highest point on the trail. And what do you find? <laughs> a radio tower, of course. Pretty wild. I'd say it's all downhill from here, but I know better. <laughs> Lots of up and downs to go. And this is where the trip takes a turn. Well, we're at the Adena Springs shelter right now. Uh, having some serious knee pain right now, so we decided to take a break. Take some uh, leave and... Uh, see how things go. I think we're about four miles from where we want to really get to tonight, so 
Uh, we're gonna stick around for a while, rest, get some uh, snacks in our belly, and see how things go. Okay, well, we took a break, did some chatting. I think we're gonna try and go about two and a half, two point seven miles more to the next campsite. Um, that puts us about three miles shy of what we wanted to do. Um, our mileage apps aren't telling us something right. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go to the next campsite, set up camp for the night, and uh, see how I'm feeling. But the snow pack and the ice that we've encountered in the past uh, during the day has just absolutely wrecked my knee. These views of the valleys below are just breathtaking. Low down number 556 of the day. <laughs> oh man, we've been going over blown down trees and limbs all day. And I kind of account for that. A lot of my pain today is having to climb over this stuff, but all these uh, ice storms they've had recently have left quite a mess. All right, saga continues. Uh, we've made it to what we believe is the Indian Grave campsite, and we see signs for water, but we don't find any camping spots, and we're not finding water. <laughs> so this is turning out to be an interesting trip. Well, as you can tell, we found water. Now hopefully Jason has found a camp. Well, six o'clock. We made it to camp. Not exactly where we wanted to get, but we're here. <laughs> oh, the sun's going down. If you can't see it behind me, the moon is looking good. <laughs> oh Lord, it's time to eat. Dinner is served. Spanish rice and fajita chicken. I'm gonna chow down. I'm sure this is gonna taste really good after a long day of hiking. And once we get done eating, we're gonna build us a campfire. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, enjoyed camp last night. Rained on us a little bit and then got down to the mid thirties, but uh, I stayed warm and I got pretty decent sleep. Um, as far as today goes, we got a big change of plans. My knee is not getting better. So what we're gonna do the guys are going to continue on to uh, Birch Knob, uh, 20 miles from here. And then I'm going to hike back to my car. And then I'm going to try and meet them at the trailhead for one more night. So kind of a odd day, but still going to make for a good time. All that uh, warm air yesterday and all the melting snow from the previous snowstorms has made it a foggy, foggy day. Oh, I can just barely see maybe a hundred feet ahead of me. Kind of creepy, but also beautiful at the same time. But uh, I think I've made it close to three miles so far in just an hour and a half. So uh, the trail at this point is mostly ATV kind of trails, so I've been able to keep a good pace, but I know eventually once I get past the Dino Arch, that's going to change, but I'll take, uh, take it when I got it <laughs> and uh, motor on and hopefully I'll see the boys this afternoon. Well, I made it to uh, Adina Shelter. I'm going to take a break, relax for a minute, take some medicine, uh, get some water, and then uh, prepare for the rough section. <laughs> Uh, I think I have somewhere around eight miles left for the day, so not too bad. I think it's only like 1030 in the morning, so I'm making really good time. But I got something funny to show you. Check this out. Oh, Jason thought that he left his charger for his phone at the shelter, and look what I found. But <laughs> this is my cell phone holder for my tripod. So, good, bad. <laughs> oh, 
the things that happen on trail. Anyway, I'll see y'all a little bit, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good views back on Mars Rock and High Rock. First major overlook of the day is Wildcat Rock. And you can just see how the mountains in the distance are still socked in by clouds. But man, these views never disappoint. <laughs> I'll never get over these. All right, status report, 11 o'clock. Made it back to Making Knob, the highest point on the trail. And I'm at the uh, radio tower that uh, is stationed here. And it's funny, this building right behind me uh, must have some sort of radio in it just to, for testing purposes. But when I pulled up, <laughs> I could hear him playing the BG staying alive. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. A little trail update. I am now at High Rock. It's about 12:20, 12:30. I uh, figured I'd stop for lunch, let my knee rest. Uh, slipped a couple times since the uh, last stop I made. There was a ice field along Thundering Cliff that just tore my knee up. So anyway, the boys are uh, checking in with me, doing good. <laughs> I think they got lost once. I blame it on Samuel. <laughs> There's probably the million ATV trails out there. So anyway, uh, I think I got four and a half miles left. And I know they're going to be a tough four and a half miles. So anyway, I'm going to eat up, get some more energy, and hit the trail again. You know, yesterday was about in the upper 60s. Today it's in the mid 40s. But man, these beautiful blue skies... And that warm sun make it all worthwhile. And this view, man, love it. Can't wait to get back to the car, drive over to Birch Knob to meet the guys, because that is a sight to see. Can't wait. Just under a mile and a half. Almost there, just after three o'clock. I can make it. All right, I'm just a few minutes from the car, getting super excited. And trust me, you wanna know, this trip is getting even weirder. I made it. Here's an update. My leg is trashed. I probably spent the past hour hobbling down the trail trying to get back to my car Whew. and to make things worse last i heard from the guys they're lost samuel lost his camera and they don't even know if they'll make it to birch knob by dark time so i'm here i'm gonna make a phone call see where they're at uh get some directions and then hopefully i can meet them there keep you posted got off the phone with them uh they made their way and they're not lost anymore thank goodness I think they're only about five miles away from Birch Knob. So they're hoping they'll have another couple hours. So thank goodness. <laughs> now I just gotta get directions and meet them there. What is that? Well, folks, I hit a snag. It is locked. Dang. Well, I guess the tower must be closed for the winter. So I'm a bust. Rats. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess this ends my adventure. Oh, man. I so wanted to get up to Birch Knob. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to post some pictures in the video to show it to you because it is one heck of a view. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. 
give me a comment and don't forget to subscribe and I'll leave the links to the videos of my buddies Jason Wish and uh, Samuel guys I so hope you enjoy your time on top of the uh, the tower tonight so all right guys well this is a wrap for me so don't forget support your local beekeeper good night